The Italian Catholic Diocese of Piacenza Bobbio Latin, Diocesis Placentina Bobbiensis in northern Italy, has existed since 1989. It is a suffragan of the Archdiocese of Medina Nonantola. The historic Diocese of Piacenza was combined with the territory of the Diocese of Bobbio San Columbano, which was briefly united with the Archdiocese of Genoa. Piacenza was originally a suffragan subordinate, as part of the ecclesiastical province of Milan. Bishop Majoranus was one of the bishops who attended the Synod of Milan called by Archbishop Eusebius in 451. Piacenza was certainly suffragan to Ravenna by the time of the Roman Synod of 680. On 21 October 1106, Pope Paschal II, at the Council of Guastalla, removed the dioceses of Emilia from the Metropolitanate of Ravenna, and made them directly dependent upon the Holy See. Papacy. This action was in punishment for the schism carried on by Archbishop Wybert of Ravenna anti -Pope Clement III, in concert with the Emperor Henry IV. On 7 August 1118, Pope Gelasius II withdrew Pope Paschal's order, and returned the dioceses to the Metropolitanate of Ravenna. His decision was confirmed by Pope Calixtus II in 1121, and in 1125 by Pope Honorius II, Bishop Arduinus of Piacenza. 1119, -1147, however, resisted efforts of the popes and the Archbishop of Ravenna to return his diocese to suffragan status. On 29 March 1148, Pope Eugene III wrote to Archbishop Moises of Ravenna that he had approved the election of Bishop Joannes of Piacenza. On 9 November 1148, however, he wrote to Bishop-elect Joannes, ordering him to have himself consecrated by the Archbishop of Ravenna. After resisting for more than two years, Giovanni finally submitted to the Pope's order, and was consecrated by the Archbishop of Ravenna on 3 July 1151. The people of Piacenza did not let the matter rest. They solicited the intervention of Abbot Peter the Venerable of Cluny, informing him of their point of view, that their metropolitan was the Pope, not the Archbishops of Aquileia or Ravenna. They noted that Urban II and Calixtus II had consecrated their bishops. In 1155, with a new pope, Adrian IV, and a new bishop of Piacenza, Ugo Piliani, the matter was raised again, and Adrian issued a bull exempting Bishop Ugo from subjection to Ravenna, while at the same time claiming an inability to decide the issue between Ravenna and Piacenza. In March 1179, Bishop Tadaldo was present at the Third Lateran Council in Rome, and he subscribed along with the bishops directly dependent upon the Holy See papacy, not with the suffragans of Ravenna. In 1582, the Diocese of Bologna was raised to the status of a metropolitan archbishopric. Piacenza was made a suffragan of the Archdiocese of Bologna, by Pope Gregory XIII in the Bull Universi Orbis of 10 December 1582. In 1806, in accordance with faculties specially granted to him by Pope Pius VII on 5 April 1806, Cardinal Giovanni Battista Caprera removed the dioceses of Piacenza, San Donino, and Parma from the jurisdiction of the Metropolitan Archdiocese of Bologna, and attached them to the Archdiocese of Genoa. On 30 March 1818, Pope Pius VII removed the same three dioceses from the jurisdiction of the Metropolitan Archdiocese of Genoa, and made them directly dependent upon the Holy See. The current bishop is Gianni Ambrosio. History An early martyr, Saint Antonius or Antoninus, as the diocese prefers, is said to have belonged to the Theban legion, and to have suffered martyrdom at Piacenza in the 2nd or 3rd century. He has no «passion», however, and the 9th century document that makes him a member of the Theban legion, is Pieno di Favole full of fables. .The Lombards took possession of Piacenza at the beginning of their invasion and thereafter it remained in their power. Bishop Sofredus In 865, after 25 years of service in Piacenza, Bishop Sofredus found himself driven from his office by the treachery of his own nephew, the deacon Paulus. 
eager for power, Paulus usurped the episcopal seat, and styled himself Paulus Vocatus Episcopus Sanctae Placentini Ecclesiae. Pope Nicholas I immediately wrote to the Emperor Louis II, demanding to know whether there was any crime charged against Sophredus, or any incapacity, that made his removal necessary, and pointing out that such problems were normally directed to the Metropolitan, or if they were serious enough, to the Pope himself. Pope Nicholas then ordered the Emperor to restore Sophredus to his episcopal seat. At the same time, through his legates, Pope Nicholas had Sophredus restored to his seat. Paulus was forbidden to attempt such a thing ever again, or to seek the bishopric. Nonetheless, on the death of Sophredus in 870, Paulus, who had evidently been restored to favor and was serving as archdeacon of Piacenza, was elected bishop in his place. The temporal power was in the hands of the bishops from the 9th century until the 12th century, when the town became a commune governed by consuls and later 1188 by a podesta. The Bishop of Piacenza was first referred to as Bishop and Count in 1065. <inaudible> Bishop Sigulf During the last six years of his administration, Bishop Sigulfus enjoyed the services of a coadjutor bishop, Johannes Philogathos, who, thanks to the patronage of the Empress Theophano, was also abbot of the monastery of Nonantola and tutor of the child who would become the Emperor Otto III. When Sigulfus died, Joannes began to sign himself Archiepiscopus Sanct Placentine Ecclesi. The Diocese of Piacenza had been detached from the ecclesiastical province of Ravenna, through the influence of the regent Theophano and with the consent of Pope John XV, and erected into an archdiocese directly dependent upon the papacy. In 1095, the Archbishop and Archbishop Bernard of Würzburg were sent to Constantinople to attempt to arrange for the marriage of a Byzantine princess and the new Emperor Otto III. On their return Joannes was drawn into Roman politics by Crescentius II Nomentanus, who had just engineered a coup d'état against Pope Gregory V. Archbishop Joannes found himself named Pope or rather Antipope in February or March 997, under the name John XVI. The emperor, however, was not pleased that Pope Gregory V, his cousin Otto of Carinthia, had been expelled from Rome. He summoned a synod at Pavia, which anathematized Crescentius and John XVI. Piacenza received a new bishop, the Benedictine Sigifredus. The title of archbishop was withdrawn, and the diocese of Piacenza was returned to the Metropolitanate of Ravenna. Its time as an independent archdiocese had lasted from 988 to 997. Pope Urban II Pope Urban II visited Piacenza from 1 March to 5 April 1095, and held a synod there from 1 to 7 March. It is said that more than 4,000 clerics and 3,000 laypersons were present. Archbishop Hugh of Leon was suspended from office because he was not in attendance and had offered no excuse. The Emperor Henry IV and his antipope Wybert of Ravenna Clement III were again excommunicated, and Wybert's bestowal of holy orders since his excommunication were annulled. The ambassador of the Emperor Alexios I Komnenos made another public appeal for assistance against the Muslims. Simony was again condemned, as was clerical concubinage. Berengar of Tours was condemned for his heretical views on the subject of transubstantiation. The dates for the observance of the Quatuor Tempora were fixed. People from Piacenza took part in the First Crusade. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Bishop Sega. When Bishop Filippo Sega (1578–1596) was appointed Bishop of Piacenza, he was not even in Italy. He was in Spain, acting as Pope Gregory XIII's nuncio to the court of King Philip II of Spain. He was already a bishop, the second bishop of Ripetranzone. He continued as nuncio in Spain until the end of 1581, and did not enter Piacenza until the spring of 1582. 
After little more than a year in the diocese, he was again appointed papal nuncio to Spain on 20 September 1583, and, due to a serious illness at the end of the mission, which incapacitated him for five months in Barcelona, he did not return to Piacenza until June 1584. A new pope, Sixtus V, who had heard of his reforming efforts in his diocese, summoned him to Rome and appointed him, on 24 April 1585, one of the reformers of the clergy and clerical historical institutions of the city of Rome. His tenure was not long, however, for the Pope appointed him nuncio to the Holy Roman Emperor Rudolf II in Vienna on January 18, 1586, a post which he held until May 28, 1587. On his return, during his second period of residence, he further advanced the reforms mandated by the Council of Trent, and held a diocesan synod on 3–5 May 1589. He was summoned back to Rome following the assassination of Henry III of France on 3 August 1589, and was sent as nuncio on Cardinal Enrico Catani's Legantine mission to France. He was made a cardinal in 1591 and replaced Caetani as legate in 1592. He did not return to Italy until the summer of 1594, when he took up his duties at the Papal Curia in Rome. A beneficial side effect of the bishop's frequent absences was that Piacenza did not fall under subordination suffragan status to any of the neighboring metropolitanates. The Council of Trent had decreed that every bishop should attend regular provincial synods, and that those bishops who were directly dependent upon the Holy See the Pope should choose a provincial synod to attend. Cardinal Carlo Borromeo of Milan was especially enthusiastic for Tridentine reform, and held frequent diocesan and provincial synods, inviting the bishops of Piacenza to the latter. They either attended under the stipulation that no suffragan status was implied or created, or declined to appear. Borromeo even tried to get the cathedral chapter of Piacenza to send a delegation, but they too declined, on the grounds that cathedral chapters were not members of a provincial council. Sega, who was engaged in diplomatic activities, was unable to respond to an invitation or a summons to Borromeo's fifth or sixth synod. Borromeo had intended to hold a seventh in 1585, but he died in the meantime, and the matter lapsed. The seventh provincial synod of Milan finally took place in 1609, and Bishop Rangoni of Piacenza did not attend. The Archbishop of Ravenna also tried to summon Piacenza, in 1582, and his effort too failed. Cathedral and chapter The construction of the original cathedral was attributed to Bishop Victor, the first bishop known by name, and was dedicated to Saint Antoninus. It was referred to as the Victorana Ecclesia. A new building was constructed by Bishop Suffredus (839–870) and dedicated to the Virgin Mary and Saint Justina, possibly Justina of Padua or perhaps Justina of Antioch, both of whose stories are fictional. The second cathedral was completed by Bishop Paulus (870 c. 885), and some remains of Justina were given to the cathedral by Bishop Joannes Philogathos, the antipope John the Sixteenth (982 to 997). The cathedral was ruined in the Great Earthquake of 1117 and was completely rebuilt, beginning in 1122. It is claimed, in the Chronicle of Piacenza, that the cathedral was dedicated by Pope Calixtus II on 23 October 1123, but, as Paul Fridolin Kerr has pointed out, Calixtus visited Piacenza in April 1120, while on the alleged consecration day he was in Benevento. In 1747, the chapter had six dignities including the archdeacon, the provost, the vicedominus, the archpriest, the dean, and the primicerius, and thirty canons. Synods A diocesan synod was an irregular but important meeting of the bishop of a diocese and his clergy. 
Its purpose was one, to proclaim generally the various decrees already issued by the bishop, two, to discuss and ratify measures on which the bishop chose to consult with his clergy, three, to publish statutes and decrees of the diocesan synod, of the provincial synod, and of the Holy See. Bishop Albericus Visconti (1295–1301) held a diocesan synod in Piacenza on the 19th of February 1298. The Acts survive, and were published by Pietro Maria Campi in 1662. Among other things, it ordered clerici concubinarii clergy with wives to leave their houses within eight days of the publication of the synodical decrees, and not to take their children with them. Cardinal Paolo Barali conducted a synod on 27 August 1570, and a second synod on 2 September 1574. On 3–5 May 1589, a diocesan synod was held by Bishop Filippo Sega. Bishop Claudio Rangoni presided at a diocesan synod on of November 1599. He held another synod in 1613. Bishop Alexandra Scappi presided over a diocesan synod on 3–5 May 1632. He held his second synod on 8 to 10 November 1646. A diocesan synod was held on 12 to 14 May 1677 by Bishop Giuseppe Zandamaria. Bishop Giorgio Barni, 1688 to 1731, presided over a diocesan synod on 4 to 6 June 1696. He held a second synod in 1725. Topic Bishops Topic to thirteen hundred Topic From thirteen hundred to sixteen hundred Topic Sixteen hundred to eighteen hundred Claudio Rangoni, fifteen ninety six to sixteen nineteen Giovanni Lenati, sixteen nineteen to sixteen twenty seven Alessandro Scappi, sixteen twenty seven to sixteen fifty three Giuseppe Zandamaria, sixteen fifty four to sixteen eighty one, said vacant, sixteen eighty one to sixteen eighty eight, Giorgio Barni, sixteen eighty eight to seventeen thirty one Gerardo Zandamaria, seventeen thirty one to seventeen forty six Pietro Cristiani, seventeen forty seven to seventeen sixty five Alessandro Pisani, the second of June, seventeen sixty six to the fourteenth of March, seventeen eighty three, died. Gregorio Gaetano Gerardo Serrati, OSB, seventeen eighty three to eighteen oh seven. Topic from eighteen hundred. Etienne André François de Paul de Fallot de Beaupre de Beaumont (1807–1817), Carlo Scribani Rossi (the 28th of July 1817 to the 21st of October 1823) died. Lodovico Loschi (the 3rd of May 1824 to the 14th of June 1836) died. Aloisio San Vitale, the 21st of November 1836 to the 25th of October 1848, died. Antonio Ranza, the 2nd of April 1849 to the 20th of November 1875, died. Giovanni Battista Scalabrini, the 28th of January 1876 to the 1st of June 1905, died. Giovanni Maria Pellizzari, the 15th of September 1905 to the 18th of September 1920, died. Ursilio Menzani, the 16th of December 1920 to the 30th of June 1961, died. Umberto Malchiordi, the 30th of June 1961, succeeded the 3rd of October 1969, retired. Enrico Manfredini, the 4th of October 1969 to the 18th of March 1983. Antonio Mazza, the 20th of August 1983 to the 1st of December 1994, retired. 
<laughs> Diocese of Piacenza Bobbio The 16th of September 1989, united with part of the Archdiocese of Genova Bobbio to form the Diocese of Piacenza Bobbio. Luciano Minari, the 23rd of June 1995 to the 19th of July 2007, appointed Bishop of Brescia. Gianni Ambrosio, the 22nd of December 2007. Topic. Territorial extent and parishes The diocese has 422 parishes which extend over an area of 3,715 square kilometres 1,434 square miles most, like the city of Piacenza, are located within the civil region of Emilia-Romagna provinces of Parma and Piacenza. A further 24 parishes fall within five communes of the Ligurian metropolitan city of Genoa, while 10 parishes are in the Lombard province of Pavia. See also Timeline of Piacenza Roman Catholic Diocese of Bobbio